Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading School Bus Graveyard. Um, I'm starting at 3. I don't know where I can stop at, but let's see. My baby is napping and I haven't read this in a while, so let's go. Everyone seems so tired. Is he playing with his food? Oh my goodness. Just as awkward as I thought it'll be. I think we should go back to Savannah. Um, I thought everyone agreed it was too dangerous. So what? We're just supposed to let things stay like they are? I'd rather be semi-stuck than permanently stuck. Well, maybe if you would have told us the truth from the beginning, we wouldn't be stuck at all. I already explained why I did it. Aren't you one to talk? You're the one that's brushed it off as a prank and walked off. If she had said anything, would you have even believed her? With your personality, I seriously doubt it. Whether I would have believed it or not, she should have said something. Now we're stuck in some demonic dimension. Running away from flesh-eating deadly creatures. I've lost count how many near-death experiences I've had. None of us have slept in days. We can't tell our parents or any... If we don't go back to Savannah, where this cycle begun, then what else are we supposed to do? Ugh. As annoying as his outburst was, it's understandable. If we go back, then we might find out what's happening and how to escape. Or we could make things much worse. Should we risk it? Two weeks ago. Oh, she's in ballet. So, I'm trying not to bang too loud because it wakes my baby. Hey, Trooper, the bus. Oh. oh! Oh, don't. What you want? Oh, yeah. The bus is down the street. Crap, I'm not ready. There's coffee on the counter if you want it. Oh, bye, Mom. Also late. Oh, have a good day. I really should have set my alarm sooner. Why do I feel like today isn't going to go well? Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next one, hopefully. I made it. Oh, it's loud. Are they new? Ah, uh, we made eye contact. Ooh, awkward. Crap, my seat is in front of them. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Hi. Oh. Oh. Is that your house? What's up with the whole bus graveyard thing? School bus graveyard. It's a junkyard with used buses. Personal space, dude. Give me some. That's it? Yeah. Oh, that's disappointing. I was hoping for some kind of lore or, or paranormal jazz. Good luck finding anything, anything like that here. Guess a conversation is over. Please be over. Anyway, so close. I made it. I'm not interested. And that's my cousin Ben. We just moved here a week ago or so from Virginia. Can't remember what town it was though. Oh hey, we we live just a house down from you. Since we live so close, we should hang out often. No way, no way. I need to stop this progressing disaster. Sorry, nothing personal, but I'm a bit tired and not in a much of a conversation mood. <laughs> it's fine. I get it. Finally. You're just shy, right? Huh? Hold on. It's alright. I'm good at talking, so it'll be fine. No, I'm not shy. 
I just want to be left alone. I can relate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ew. Homie talks a lot. He wasn't kidding. How do I escape? Whoa, this is a small school. Why aren't you still following me? Maybe if I ignore him, he'll leave me alone? Yeah. Mm. Office. Oh, right. My chance. Uh, we gotta pick up uh, our schedules. Go up. Uh. <laughs> he looks a little sadistic there. She's fast. I got away. Okay, so now we kind of learn how they became friends. So that was two weeks ago. So how did they really got into that whole mess? Oh, we're gonna find out soon. All right, guys, I'm gonna pause right here. If you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!